Hey guys, welcome to another daily pack opening with the Games Repository. Right, we're doing Journey into Next, so let's get this puppy open, shall we? Alright, no token, just a marker card. Right, so we're going to start off with, if I can get it into place, Deathbringer Lampets. That's a 5-drop black enchantment creature for a 4-2 constellation. When it enters the battlefield and you control target creature gains intimidate until end of turn. So that's quite useful, it's quite expensive, but it's a heavy attacker with a low block. Then we've got Crufts in sight. That's a 3-drop green sorcery. Reveal the top 6 cards of your library. Put up to 3 enchantment cards from among them into your hand and the rest of revealed cards into your graveyard. So it's a good way of fixing to get creatures and enchantments because if you're playing constellation deck or you're playing enchantment cards it's a good way of thinning out your deck and getting some really useful stuff mid-game. Satire Grove Dancer, that's a 2 drop green 1-1 one, one, but it's also got a plus 1 plus 1 counter ability so it comes out really as a 2-2, two, two. so it's 2-2 two, two for 2, you can't argue with that on a green and especially if you're moving to tokens around it could be quite handy. Then we've got Aspect of Gorgon which is 3 drop black enchantment aura, it enchants the creature and the creature gets plus one, plus three, and has death touch. That's really useful enchantment. Three drop to give death touch and make yourself one heck of a blocker. Next up, a Coron Mastiff. That's a four drop white two two creature, but it also has a tap ability, pay one white, and you can tap down target creature. Could be quite useful in a limited game, but it's quite expensive. Blake Tusk Boar, that's a 4 drop red with 3 2 and Intimidate. Bit expensive, but the Intimidate buffs up the, the, the low defense ability, so it's a good, good little attacker. Get in there. Definitely a red deck wins creature card. Then we have Orcos Swift Claw, which is a 2 drop white 3 1 creature. The uh, the three attack makes up for the, for the one defense. Good little early game. Second turn, you can get that one out and you can start attacking. Makes people think about their early cards and what they block with. Then Flame Speaker's Will, which is the one drop red enchantment, and enchanted creature gets plus one plus one. And whenever it deals damage to a player, you may sacrifice it and you can use it to discard an artifact. So. Early game, quite useful to buff up one of your low level creatures and then mid to late game if you've got an artifact that you really want to get rid of, it's definitely there. It'll also help to make your opponent think about whether they really want to block or not and whether they can sack out those artifacts that they've got. Then we have Pin to the Earth, 2 drop blue, an enchant creature gets minus 6, minus 0. Once again, very useful card, very good for control in blue can really take one of your opponent's fatties and bring them down to just a blocker. Flurry of Horns, that's a 5-drop red sorcery, and that lets you put on 2-3 two, two, Minotaurs. Yeah, that's a really useful card. It's more mid to late game, but you're going to get 2-3s two, two out. Sorcery would be better as an instant. You could play some combat tricks and things with it but it's not too bad a card definitely put it into a draft now we're on to our uncommons we've got hour of need which is a three drop blue instant has strive so it's the ability to, co to cast one more uh, to cast a multiple creatures for the extra cost and the extra cost is two one colorless one blue and then exile any number of target creatures. For each creature exiled this way, its controller puts a 4-4 bird sphinx creature token with flying onto the battlefield. Really useful mid-late game. You can swap out any of your cheap little 1-1 one -one blockers for some very serious heavy hitters for only well, initial 3 drop cost and then 2 for every other creature after that. 
very, very handy card. Then we have a, sp a Spire Spine, which is a 3-drop green 4-1 creature with this enchantment creature. And it's got the Bespo ability, so you can Bespo that onto, or bestow, sorry, that onto another creature. And then that creature gets plus 4, plus 1, and blocks its turn disabled, so you, you've got to block with that creature. Or you've got to swing with it during your turn, so he's tapped out and can't block. Quite a useful green card, really. Really buff up an attacking creature that you know has to attack. Then we got Mogai's Warhound, which is a two drop red 2-2. Two, two. Enchantment creature, so this, again, this is the bestow creatures. Two drop for a 2-2 two, two isn't bad. And it has to return, yeah, attack each turn if able, so that then means that you've got to attack it. That mixed with the Spire Spine could be a very, very dangerous combination. And that Creature, the creature you cast it onto gets plus two, plus two, and attacks each turn if able. Very nice card. Then we've got a rare card, which is a Doom Waker Giant. That's a five drop black enchantment creature for four, six. Uh, it has this constellation ability. When Doom Walker Giant or another enchantment enters the battlefield you're under your control, it creatures your opponent control get minus one, minus one until end of turn. Very, very nice card. Low mana cost for a 4-6 creature, and when you cast enchantments, your opponent's attacking creatures get minus. If you can somehow mix that with a flash ability, that would really knock out an opponent's battlefield. And that's it for our deck today. We've just got a nice little forest card. So we'll see you tomorrow, guys.